Has Joseph Mako, North Bergen's one-time political boss of the 1970s and 1980s, entangled himself in the upcoming North Bergen Commission election on May 14th? The administration of North Bergen Mayor Nicholas Sacco says yes. His opponent, Larry Weinstein, says no. According to a report published by New Jersey Globe on Thursday, former town clerk Joe Mako, who was convicted and jailed on racketeering charges 30 years ago, has been seen inside the campaign headquarters of Larry Weinstein on numerous occasions. Weinstein is again challenging the Sacco administration in the upcoming commission election. Weinstein is quoted in the article as saying, this election is not about Joe Mako. It's about ending 35 years of corruption. Um, Larry Weinstein has denied being associated with Joe Mako for years. He denied it four years ago when he ran and lost for mayor. He denied it since then. We believed it to be true the entire time. Now we have proof. Now, you know, Larry, Larry, Larry lies a lot, but pictures don't lie. And now we know that Joe Mako is not just involved with Larry Weinstein's campaign, he's running Larry Weinstein's campaign. He's running the meetings. He's working with the volunteers. And you have to remember, you know, who is Joe Mako? Joe Mako is one of the most notoriously corrupt public officials in New Jersey history. Weinstein campaign spokesman Hank Scheinkoff issued the following statement, quote, Nick Sacco was Joe Mako's direct supervisor at the time of the arrest. Larry Weinstein was 14 years old. And the corruption ended when the Makos left the administration. And Larry is just then a Mako puppet. And it would be like having the Makos all over again. And that is scary because that era was po politics at its worst. Joe Mako is one of the most notoriously corrupt public officials in New Jersey history. We're talking about someone who, you know, here we have uh, documents from the Superior Court of New Jersey. Joe Mako is someone who, according to the court, spent the bulk of his life seeking to gain political power in North Bergen, that he, whenever he succeeded in gaining that power, he used it for corrupt or criminal purposes. That's who Joe Mako is. That's who Larry Weinstein associates with and works with, and that's who runs Larry Weinstein's campaign. I think that speaks for itself. So as far as the Sacco campaign is concerned, this person dubbing themselves as Frank is in fact Joe Mako. Absolutely. As a lifelong resident of North Bergen, I really believe the town has never been, has never looked as good as it does now. It looks great. The mayor is doing a phenomenal job with all these different programs that he has going for the kids. He's at every event. He's truly a person that loves the town and is truly interested in the people, the residents, and everybody in the community. Scheinkopf continued, quote, this campaign is about Sacco family no-show jobs. A Sacco PR firm paid somewhere between 400K to 1.2 million a year and 15 law firms all on the North Bergen taxpayers' backs while Sacco's schools are rated among the worst in the state. You know, he can use a fake name all he wants, but he can't hide from his past. He can't hide from his abysmal corrupt record. He can't hide from his criminal convictions. He can't hide from his, you know, the, the, parole, uh, the, the parole notice that explicitly prohibited him from even being involved in North Bergen politics for, for many years. That's who this is. So in a nutshell, what does this say about Mr. Weinstein's character when he quotes this is not about Joe Marco, this is about corruption. It shows you that Larry Weinstein has no character. If he's that desperate for power, that desperate for revenge against Mayor Sacco, he's willing to work with Joe Marco, it tells you everything you need to know about Larry Weinstein. 35 years of corruption? No, I think not. North Bergen has grown. We're a progressive community. Um, I'm proud to say I live in North Bergen now. That statement is the most asinine statement I've heard come out of his mouth yet. And if he's associated with Joe Marco, you know, we don't want to have any part of that. It's a progressive community. It's going places. And the mayor is doing such a phenomenal job. We just want to keep this going the way it's going. Reporting for Hudson TV in North Bergen, I'm Jeff Hennig.